we are given f of x equals x to the power of three sine x and asked to find f prime of x using logarithmic differentiation. Let's begin by replacing f of x with y and write the given function as y equals x to the power of three sine x. Next we will take the natural log of both sides of the equation And now we can expand the right side of the equation by using the power property of logarithms, which is natural log of x to the power of y equals y times natural log x, which indicates that natural log of x to the power of three sine x is equal to three sine x times natural log x. This gives us the equation natural log y equals, again, three sine x times natural log x. For the next step, we will differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x. And now differentiating both sides of the equation, starting on the left, because we have a function of y, we need to apply the chain rule, and therefore we have an extra factor of dy dx. The derivative of natural log y with respect to x is equal to one divided by y times dy dx. On the right side, we need to apply the product rule of differentiation, and therefore the derivative is equal to the first function of three sine x times the derivative of the second function, and the derivative of natural log x with respect to x is one divided by x, and then we have plus the second function of natural log x times the derivative of the first function, and the derivative of three sine x with respect to x is three cosine x. Let's go ahead and see if we can simplify. We have one divided by y times dy dx equals three sine x divided by x and then plus, let's write this as three cosine x natural log x. And now we need to solve the equation for dy dx by multiplying both sides of the equation by y. On the left, y times one divided by y is one. One times dy dx is dy dx. We have dy dx equals, on the right we have y times three sine x divided by x plus three cosine x natural log x we want the derivative in terms of just x, not x and y. So now we replace y with the original function. Remember, y is equal to x to the power of three sine x, which gives us dy dx equals x to the power of three sine x times the quantity three sine x divided by x plus three cosine x natural log x. And now let's go ahead and replace dy dx with f prime of x, since that's what the question asked for. We have f prime of x equals, let's go ahead and factor out the greatest common factor of three from the parentheses and write the final derivative function as three times x to the power of three sine x and then times the quantity sine x divided by x plus cosine x times natural log x. I hope you found this helpful.